hormonal changes during pregnancy, breastfeeding, and menopause. Some medications, such as antihistamines and antidepressants, emotional factors like anxiety and stress, and certain medical conditions like dyspareunia and vaginismus can lead to decreased natural vaginal lubrication. Dryness can lead to painful intercourse and cause injuries to vaginal tissue, increasing the risk of urinary tract infections, vaginal infections, and sexually transmitted infection diseases. Insufficient natural vaginal lubrication can hinder the movement of sperm, potentially making it more difficult to conceive. Regular sexual stimulation and a longer period of foreplay can help to improve vaginal sensitivity, making it easier to become aroused and experience natural lubrication. Vaginal moisturizers and lubricants can help to reduce friction and prevent discomfort. They come in different types and formulations, each with its unique characteristics. The most common types are creams and gels. Internal moisturizers are inserted directly into the vagina with a finger or applicator, where they help build up vaginal tissue. They provide immediate relief from dryness and discomfort. External moisturizers are made for the vulva. Suppositories are inserted into the vagina and dissolve, releasing moisture. They can be convenient and long-lasting. Natural oils like coconut or almond oil can be used as vaginal moisturizers. However, they may not suit everyone, especially those with allergies or sensitivities. Oils also can create a favorable environment for the growth of bacteria and yeast, increasing the risk of vaginal infections. Using oil-based products like baby oil, mineral oil, massage oils, oil-based lubricants, or petroleum jelly with condoms can weaken the latex and increase the risk of breakage. Vaginal moisturizers and lubricants are slightly different. Vaginal moisturizers are long-lasting. They keep the vagina moist all day. Vaginal water-based lubricants last a short time. They are used for immediate lubrication during sexual activity. They are generally safe to use with condoms and are easy to clean up. However, they may dry out quickly. Vaginal silicone-based lubricants are long-lasting, don't affect vaginal pH, and are compatible with condoms. Hormonal therapy can also be a solution. Estrogen creams and tablets are inserted a few times a week into the vagina. Creams must be measured and can get messy. Tablets are a good alternative. Vaginal rings are placed in the vagina by the patient. They release a low dose of estrogen over 90 days. These treatments deliver less estrogen than typical hormone therapy and have fewer risks. It's important to choose a vaginal moisturizer that is right for you and your specific needs. If you have any concerns about vaginal dryness or discomfort, it's best to consult with a healthcare professional.